Hey guys, it's Caleb aka Queen Clux999, and I just want to say before we start the video that I'm actually losing my voice <clears throat> somewhat, so if I sound a little sick, that means I that's because I am sick. Cold and flu season, guys. But welcome back, more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Last time, we took a lot of damage in the Pit of 100 Trials, because as you can see, I have 36 HP out of 50, which is why I equipped the, um, the Heart Finder over the Item Hog. And what floor are we on? 23. That's good. Late to go. What's waiting us down here? Ba ba bomb! Why do I get the feeling I just want to bump it in? I was expecting there to be four bombs, but I guess I was wrong because we got some boos here. To be honest, the entire LP of Paper Mario with Thousand Year Door, I was really looking forward to the Pit of 100 Trials. I've beaten it many times in my day. I've gotten to the 100th floor many t the hundredth floor many times in my day. Uh, it's not the first time, I guess, but... Oh, that guy's got a slow stream. Drop the slow shroom. I have the I I have the item hog de-equipped, but I can still get items. Hey, it's Mover. What was supposed to be on this floor? Oh my god, 26. Oh no. Tell me a spiky glue was supposed to be here. That's the thing, sometimes the floors will get interrupted all because of Mover. And I wish there was a way you could disable Mover because I don't really want to talk to him at all in this dungeon. Plus the star points, I'm re I'm really trying to get some level ups. Uh, oh no. Oh, I, I think I was supposed to be just a spiky Gloomba. So, uh... Yeah. And I know I don't have to worry about the bandits, but I'm just going to take them out anyway. Oh. Oh, Fogger Sprite. Oh, hopefully he attacks me and doesn't miss. But he didn't even attack Mario. <coughs> A lot of times in the LP, the spell has been working at the most useless times. It's like in... Sugar Connor is Sugar Connor is Paper Mario One Let's Play where he uh 
where uh, the spell was just working at the most useless times. There actually is a spell in the first Paper Mario game. Um, I haven't actually completed the game, so I actually, obviously, I'm not going to play it on the channel yet. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cowboy. Okay. I don't know. I don't really watch. I don't really watch IS Cupquake that much. I, she has a really cool channel. If I do say so myself. I know Abigail watches her, so that's cool. You know, next time my mom make cu makes cupcakes, yeah, she actually does have a thing about baking. Oh, yeah, spiny. Uh, next time my mom makes cupcakes, I should tell her the call. I should tell her to call them cupquakes. Oh wait, I wonder if she actually did that in her series Quake and Bake. I don't know. Oh, I knew this was gonna be a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have just screwed up on purpose so I could steal the super shroom. Oh gosh. Um, I think I'm just gonna use something here. Oh wait, let's use the power block. I like the super streams just did. You know, I have many times in my day where I got game over all because the wall fell on my face. Oh, guys, speaking of, I should probably mention I was already here. Uh, this is level 30. Um, this chest is what would have contained uh, the Zap Tap badge. So if you want, so if you want to get the Zap Tap badge, this is where you got to go to uh, level 30 of the Pit of 100 Trials. But now I'm going to take out Goombella because, as you guys know, probably know, we're going to introduce him to a new enemy. And meet this little dude. Or I don't know if I call him little. He's got a Mr. Softener, but not like it's gonna help him very much. Now this is a dark Koopa. It lives in dark places that the light never reaches. Max HP is eight, attack is four, and defense is zero. And it's a bit tougher than a regular Koopa, so you won't be able to beat it easily. Uh, but it does have the same weakness as a regular Koopa. Flip it over and it's helpless. Uh, why don't you, uh, why, why do you think it needs sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? Hmm. I always wonder why the Koopas even wear sunglasses in the first place. I guess maybe it's just to make them look cooler, but I'm not sure. And don't worry, uh... Dark Koopas can't make you dazed in this game like it could in the first game. Um, if you saw my if you saw my clone network video for the for the first game of Paper Mario, then you know then you know um how how brutally beaten I was in those battles. Okay, oh from the looks like we got a hyper cleft from uh uh Twilight Trail. And oh, oh shady Koopa. You guys might remember these guys from Glitzville. It's an, it's best it's an, it's good idea to not jump on these guys. But that's the guy. Well, I guess it doesn't matter since I got uh uh I have the power plus badges, but still. Oh, hey, it's a Parabuzzy Beetle. We saw these guys in the Pirate's Grotto. And a Flower Fuzzy. Oh, boy.
Oh, I probably should have taken out the car busy wheel first. Uh, let me try infantry. Um, so I could, uh, put confused. Maybe they'll use the earthquake on them, Okay. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter now. Okay, it looks like we're at max health now, so uh, let's go ahead and equip the item hog. Flower fuzzy, oh boy. Now we saw these guys in Glitzville and Kill Hall Key, so uh... Pine syrup, not bad. Let's actually use that right now. So we got a little dark Koopa. There I go coughing again. Uh, I guess a dry trim will do just to recover one of Vivian's health. So, what floor are we on? 36. Awesome. 